All right, in this short video, we're just gonna quickly talk about one of the three questions you need to ask yourself before intubating any patient. This will help you develop the expert timing that you need to know when's the right time to intubate. And that first question really is, are they protecting their airway? Now, when I was a resident, it was all about the gag reflex. Do they have a gag reflex? What's their gag reflex? People were sticking Q-tips and, and um, tongue depressors down there to see if they would gag, and that is absolutely not the right way to do it. We know now that there are better ways to assess whether or not your patient is protecting their airway. And the first is really just to look at their patient. What's their level of alertness? Are they completely out of it? Are they obtunded when you try to stimulate them physically? Are they unarousable? These are all good signs that in fact, perhaps your patient is not protecting your airway, their airway. Next, I would just go ahead and just check and see if all of the soft tissues uh, in the oropharynx are falling back into the glottic opening and obstructing their airway. If you have to give a jaw thrust or you try to sit them up and you still find that they're occluding their airway, that's another really good sign that perhaps they need a more definitive airway. Thirdly, are they pooling their secretions? I think this is one of the best signs. So if you have an extremely obtunded patient and you find that you're suctioning and they're drooling and you suction again, that means that the complex reflexes of their oropharynx are not working and they're likely to aspirate and therefore need a definitive airway. So that's the way to assess if your patient is protecting their airway. And it's really just one of three questions you need to ask before you make that decision to intubate. All right, let's get on to the next ones. I'll see you on the other side.